What up, Yodel? So I figured I'd kind of jump on the bandwagon on this whole eclipse thing. It's on everybody's minds, and I was just thinking about it. And I got the truck running. I'm heading into town. I got to get some gas uh, for running the tractor and the sawmill. Uh, we're working on uh, 30 raised beds uh, right now. And so I got to mill up a bunch of lumber today and then build those beds so we can get that in. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. You know, the Bible says that the uh, moon and the stars or the luminaries are given to us as a sign of the times. And, uh, you know, what's coming is is pretty serious. I'm not talking about the, the, uh, the alpacalypse that's going to come with the uh, eclipse. Uh, there could be, there could be a lot around the eclipse, and I'm not denying that at all. Uh, but the reality is, is that if it is the sign of Nineveh, which everybody is talking about, it's a sign to repent, to turn away from our sin, to turn back to God, and just to live for Him. Uh, that's that's what Nineveh, that's what Nineveh did. They they turned away from their sin, and they gave their lives to God. And uh, it's important that we do that. Uh, because he is the almighty Elohim and so we should be we should be walking in that but also there's a level of preparedness that I think a lot of people are waking up to and that we should be having the things on hand we should have you know we should have food stocked up and we should have gas stocked up and we should have you know animals that provide our food and you know, we've got Dorothy here, she's for, for milk, and we've got the, the goats, and they're for meat, or, and they're for milk and meat, and we've got the sheep that are for meat, and the chickens that are for meat, and we're doing all these things. But this is, this is our lifestyle. We live in a level of preparedness. It's not just, we're not just getting our food preps and setting it up and forgetting about it now we do have quite a bit of food preps set aside but the reality is is that the real food preps are the stuff that's on the hoof the stuff that's growing in the ground our seed stock that's really that's real preparedness um, talk about all this prepper stuff grow you some grow you something whether you're growing a couple of chickens that give you eggs or you're growing you're running 25 meat chickens for meat to supplement the meat so you don't have to buy that mystery meat in the store we don't even know what we're buying anymore the reality is it's time to get a hold of our own food production and that's what we're doing here at rooted reliance we're rooted in Christ reliant on him and we're doing all the things that he ordained the way that he ordained it to be you know God's people are caretakers of the land that's what that's what we do when uh, Joseph told his family what to tell Pharaoh that's what he told them to tell him tell them you're shepherds and uh, we are we are an agricultural people and so <clears throat> we have to be doing the things as the people of the Most High to get in control of our own food production so what are you doing what are you doing to get ready for the eclipse is the is the eclipse the thing that woke you up to your need for preparedness are you preparing for earthquakes and famine and infrastructure breakdown and all those things or are you just preparing because the government is putting all this stuff in your food that's gonna kill you so that they can boost their uh, medical industry. What are you doing to prepare? Why are you preparing? What are you getting ready for? Are you ready? Think about these things. What's lacking in your system? Do you have everything you need? And here's Hunter. <laughs> Do you have a cat that loves you? All right, y'all. Shalom. God bless.